welcome back to this CNC rotor build where I show you absolutely everything you need to do to construct uh, a CNC rotor, a decent CNC rotor such as this one, which I'm naming the Amax for want of a better word. Okay, so today we're going to be mounting this cross member, which is a real heavy gauge, um, 12 mm, it's, it's nearly half an inch, okay, um, by 160, which is, uh, so, I'll tell you exactly, six and a quarter inches, okay, or in, uh, Metric, it's uh, 160 millimeters wide. It's 12 millimeters, which is just shy of half an inch. Aluminium plate, or flat bar, they like to call it. Um, and when you buy your material to make something like this, before you leave the stockist, when you purchase it, sight down it to make damn sure that it is straight. Because you can't take it back when you've left. Okay, it's not good getting it home and then finding, oh, it's got a bit of a bulb in it, it's no good to me. But everything needs to be dead flat. Uh, because when you take it back, they're not gonna accept it. Has been my experience anyway. Okay. So, I already know the center of this. I measured it up when I, which is there, I've got a scribe line on here and here. Everything needs to be, you know, centered up. Um, and we should be able to find out where the drillings are for these holes. I'm just making sure that I have this and my center line is absolutely true and accurate because the more accurate you can get at this stage, uh, you know, the more accurate the, the whole event is going to be when it's finished. So I actually need to go up this way about half a millimeter. And that's it. Perfect. Uh, what I've done is uh, I've allowed two inches uh, thereabouts, either either end of here overlap, um, which I think is going to be quite sufficient. So, and you don't. You know, I, I treat this like a piece of wood. You don't necessarily, you know, it's, I know it's 10 times more expensive than wood, but you can actually treat it the same as wood without any difficulty. And what I mean by that is you, you know, you just need a, a sort of a fairly ordinary type square. Uh, you can use a, this is for metal work, but you can use one for uh, woodwork doesn't really matter and you know you can uh, you can sight up as if you were a piece of wood That's all you have to do I'm going to do the same the other side. So I've got this fully marked out now and I've centre popped or centre marked um, all the holes. 
And what I like to do is I just like to put a eighth inch or three millimeter pilot hole. I just start it in a millimeter or so. So the when the larger drill comes in, uh, I'm drilling these uh, a millimeter oversize. Now, do you remember if you watched the video before this one, I talked about wiggle room. Well, this is one of the areas you need a very small amount of adjustment or wiggle room to be able to get this absolutely square and parallel and you know, perfect because you're practically never going to drill a hole, uh, this number of holes, um, exactly right. Unless you're using a CNC machine, of course. So this is the way to do it, uh, is, is drill slightly oversized and then th that gives you an, enough play or wiggle room to be able to make some adjustments. So after drilling, it's necessary to deburr all the holes on the from the underside now. Okay, now a little bit of sub-assembly. So we're going to put this um, screw bearing block on now, just loosely, making sure it's in the the correct orientation if I can speak over the neighbor mowing his acreage <laughs> okay so the screw is going to go in that way around so the main bearing block is going to go at the front okay and this end is going to be attached to the stepper motor so this bearing block needs to be reversed around. I'm using flat washers and spring washers on this as well. Just loosely put on there like that. Don't have to do them up tight at this stage. And then we can pick up these bearing blocks. And this is why I've drilled a millimeter oversize. Uh, although I've got flat washers on these cap screws, uh, I will be taking them back out later, later on in the build, and putting spring washers in there as well. But I seem to have run out spring washers of this size which is six millimeter in this case. All holes line up. All the bolts go in. So, and what you need to do, so this, this is wiggle room, okay? So you can, you can move the thing around, side to side and twist in motion. So what you need to do is get this, get this down to this front plate, okay, and just do a couple up, two on each block, one, two, holding it towards you. One, two, the same here.
Okay, so I've only just got a mipped up. We know it's square against here. I'm just going to push it up. exactly what you want. Well I'm, I'm happy to have got that far. So I hope you've liked this build today and I hope you'll come back and see the rest of the build and some of my other videos too. So please like and subscribe and if you really like what I'm doing you may consider becoming a patron to the channel. Uh, Patreon information is below this video in the video description area. And of course, sometime uh, towards the end of the build, all the drawings and the parts and the vendors for those parts will be on my Patreon pages. So, thank you for joining me, and it's bye for now.